Okay, so the first cabinet we're looking at is the 74 Marshall Salt and Pepper cabinet. This is a cabinet I've had since my docking days and has been used on a lot of records. It's uh, not really a high powered cabinet and it doesn't have a real tight low end, but it does break up very easily and it gets real saturated and very saggy. And for that reason, I really like it for soloing. It does kind of mush out on the low end. It, it kind of breaks up and it's been getting more like that the older it gets. It has newer Celestian heritage speakers in it. It has 20 watt UK British 20 waters on top. So what I'll do is I'll mic a 121, Royer 121 and probably a 57 or a 421. At that point, I'll look at it and I'll say, well, you know, I want something darker, so maybe I'll switch to the orange cabinet, which is very dark, but it's very, very cool, too. It, and it's dark in a great, great way, and it really mates really well with the Marshall or the High Watt because they're a little more brighter. So you put the two together and you really get this full spectrum width, you know, that's just gigantic. And that's an interesting orange cabinet in that... Uh, and, uh, orange made those in the late 60s and early 70s. They had three different speaker options. Celestian, I believe either Fain or Goodman, and then the third and rarest were the UK Squareback Eminence. And it wasn't even something I'd heard of much because normally don't like eminent speakers from that era, but um, these are entirely different eminence than what they had like in acoustic amps. Very earthy sounding, very organic. That is a great sounding cabinet. I wouldn't use it on its own. I would use it in tandem with another cabinet that was complimentary. <laughs> The third cabinet in the mix is uh, a cabinet that I got from EVH way back in the day when he was, uh, he had stripped the Tolex off of a, a number of his cabinets and then he was, I believe, trading them into flag systems. And so I bought this cabinet off him but without the speakers. This is from the 70s and um, Eddie used to do is run JBL D112Fs, which are the Fender versions of the JBL 12 inch speakers. Uh, he would run two of those, I believe, in the top, and then run a couple of Celestians in the bottom. And that's what I have loaded in, in here. I've got the vintage JBLs on top and the 25 greenbacks on the bottom. The JBLs are much more efficient. They're going to be brighter and probably not something you want to listen to on their own. But when you're added in with the Celestian, it has this great synergy. And they're very complementary to each other. So The high watt has the uh, 50 watt purple back fanes in it, and the original fanes, and they got massive magnets on them and uh, cast frame. They really handle low end really great. So it's very right in your face, very immediate sounding. And so I've used that for most of my rhythm work when I'm recording. There's an interesting story about that cabinet, or at least I think it's interesting, but I bought it from a guy in England. Uh, you know, band broke up and the thing was just sitting in his basement. You know, you get a lot of rain and uh, I guess the basement was very moist and also flooded occasionally. And what happened, the, the water soaked up into the, into the wood and dried out, and that happened repeatedly over the years. You could see all the staining on the inside of the cabinet where that happened. But I think it imparted some kind of special properties to the, to the wood that it's, that it's made of. The Finland, it's like 15, 16 ply Finland birch. I think what happened is when it's, it, it got saturated and then it dried out and kept doing that over the decades. This thing occurred, which I, I kind of think of it as a micro chambering. So in guitars, you can, you, can do, you can chamber guitars, essentially hollow them out or create hollow chambers and it'll create a more resonant instrument. And I think that's what's happening with that high watt. And that's just a sort of a half-educated guess, but I like to think that that's true. So that's a pretty unique sounding cabinet. Mm -hmm. 